welcome to the DIY Designer. My name is Orly Shani. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope this isn't your first episode, but if it is, welcome. Thanks for being here. I hope you like what you see. Uh, today's DIY is gonna be such a blast. So a couple weeks ago on my Instagram stories, I put up like a question and I said, you know, any DIYs you guys wanna see, anything you wanna learn how to do, and I got like an insane amount of replies, which was actually very helpful because I got some really, really good ideas. Um, the one that I'm gonna do today though was straight from that question, an idea and a suggestion someone gave me to do the Jimmy Choo Ombre Glitter Heels. Now, these heels are gonna be absolutely perfect as we're going into the holiday season, New Year's Eve, and then just throughout the year, even in spring, they're gonna be really fun with like jeans and a white tee. I went in just to like double check and be like, yeah, 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 like I think I've got my plan and all of a sudden I like screenshot. Oh, screenshot, oh, screenshot. And I ended up with 30 screenshots of different color combinations. So what I have is this glitter sort of set here. I'll link below the one that I got. This I originally bought when I did the Christian Louboutin striped glitter heels. And some of the technique is gonna be similar and I wear those all the time and like they are durable, they last. No peeling, no flaking, no anything. So this really, really does work. I can attest to it through trial and error. Um, but you just wanna come up with your color combination. You want at the very minimum, two colors and you'll be able to mix the two colors in the middle so that it becomes an ombre tone, but you need at least two colors. You can do more than that if you want. I'm sitting here staring at what I think my plan is gonna be, which is like a sort of a black to gunmetal to dark silver to bright silver, but I'm sitting here staring at these colors and I can't decide. Anyway, guys, if you like today's video, I hope that you will do me a huge favor and not only subscribe to the channel, but click the bell so that you make sure to get a notification when I have a new video and also maybe share it with a friend. That would be super helpful, help the channel grow. I hope that you guys like this one. Let's get uh, let's get right into materials. Right into it. Right into it. Let's get started. Let's. First thing you're gonna do is just use painter's tape to tape off anything that you don't wanna get glitter on. So right here, I'm just using the painter's tape to go along the base of the heel where it meets the shoe. This is just protecting it so that I don't end up accidentally getting any Mod Podge on it. But if I could do it all over again, I would recommend taping off everything that you don't want glue, I mean, uh, glitter on, including the sole of the shoe and the inside of the shoe. It's no big deal, but I had a lot of extra cleanup to do when I was done because there was just glitter kind of stuck everywhere. Once you're taped off, you're gonna grab your Mod Podge. Now, I started off using the glitter Mod Podge just to test it out, although you really don't need this. The fabric Mod Podge would work. Anything that says it's gonna be water resistant is gonna be perfect. And I also recommend a high gloss Mod Podge. You don't want the matte, you want that high gloss finish. Now, because I didn't tape off the sole of the shoe, I just had to really take my time and make sure that I was running that paintbrush right up against the edge, not getting any Mod Podge on the sole. If it got a little bit on there, I just grabbed my fingernail and scraped it off and it came right off. Now you just want to look at it and kind of visualize like how big do I want my sections, right? How big do I want each colored section? Again, we're going to make it ombre effect, but you want to know where you're putting your Mod Podge and where you're putting your glitter. Now my first section was my black glitter and you can see I'm using black fine glitter. I'm draping it on top of a magazine, which is going to be really important for a few reasons and you will see why in just a second. Anywhere that there's a bald spot, just go back in with a little bit of extra Mod Podge, sprinkle a little bit more glitter, make sure that everything is really covered and looks really saturated with that glitter. You don't want any bald spots. For right now, turn the page, keeping all the glitter in that spine of the book and move on to the next page and the next color. I've Mod Podged my next section and I'm just starting to drizzle on a little bit of that gun metal, which is my next shade. You can see I'm just kind of tapping off the excess right onto the magazine. And because I did one side, I just wanted to make sure the outer side matched, like I was as wide. So I just put a piece of tape so I had a guideline, put a little swipe of Mod Podge so I knew where to go, and then filled it all in again, making sure to avoid the bottom of the shoe. Although you can see even now I'm already getting glitter on the bottom, and that's why I would say just tape it all off. It'll make your life a lot easier. Once the two colors are done, you're gonna close the magazine, grab a little bowl, and empty both colors out. Now, this is my mixed color to create my, my uh, ombre effect. These two colors mix, now I can start to blur out the seam. So at first what I did is I brushed on the Mod Podge where I wanted to blur out the seam. But because it was brushed on in a line, everything was still looking like, like lines. You know, you want ombre to just be 
gradient fading one from the next where you kind of can't even see where the fading is going. And I wasn't getting that effect, although I come up with a really great solution for that later. So again, moving on to my next section, do my next lighter silver, then go on to my brightest silver. I left the back open and added in a white glitter, thinking it would give like a really nice pop, but it just sort of disappeared. So I said, screw that. And I went back in and just made that whole back the really bright silver. So now here I am, I'm still kind of trying to do that sponged in section where I brush it on and then mix with my next mixed color. It was getting better, but it's still like, I don't know, I'm still like, this isn't looking legit. This isn't looking as good as I want it to. So I kept going until I had an idea. What I realized was the better thing to do was actually to use a spray adhesive. So I put a piece of paper towel inside, but again, you should just protect your inside from the very beginning. And I start spraying it like little flicks of the wrist. And because the spray comes out as like a mist and not a paintbrush stroke, when you drop your glitter on it, the glitter goes on as like a mist and not a paintbrush stroke. So all that you have to do is go in like in each little section, spritz, spritz, drop that next mixed color on top of it and let it kind of fall a little on top and a little on bottom. You've then blended out that section. The next one, go in, spritz, spritz, drop it on, let it fall towards the back and fall towards the front and you get this perfectly ombre effect. When I was done, I just put all of the glitter back in to save as much of the glitter as possible for touch-ups if I needed them later, um, and that's it. Now, I went outside and peeled off the tape off my heel, and I didn't like the way it looked with the heel bare. I just thought it looked kind of weird, and it, I don't know, it looked cheap to me. You can see the ombre effect is really good. It's much more natural, but I didn't like the way the heel looked. So this was easy because there's no ombre here. This is just that bright silver color, which is in the back of the heel. So all I did was go in and just you know, finish that off and that was easy to go. Very last thing that you need to do, or at least what I thought was gonna be my last thing, is cover the entire heel in one final sealed coat of Mod Podge. You wanna brush over the entire thing, and that's again why you want high gloss. It's going to protect the glitter from flaking off. This is what it looked like at first. It looked really pretty, but it didn't have the sparkle I wanted. It just didn't shine as much as I wanted it to. I wanted that high impact of the Jimmy Choo. So what I ended up doing was grabbing a little bit of the Mod Podge spray sealant. I spritzed a lot, a good amount, and I got chunky glitter. I went back and got some black, thick, oversized, chunky glitter, and the effect of the mix of the fine glitter with the chunky glitter really made this whole thing come together. You're gonna see at the end, it sparkles so much more, but it, the on camera doesn't even do it justice. In person, you guys, these are like diamonds. It's so freaking gorgeous. So I started off with a big saturation of black at the toe and then kind of sprinkled in with my fingers black throughout. I didn't have multiple colors. All I had was black and silver. So you really wanna kind of sprinkle it, let it dust on. I sprayed the entire back heel. And then again, like a light little dusting, just a light, just a little bit there. So you have a couple of black sprinkles. And then I went in with my big, bright, silver, chunky glitter. This is what's really gonna start to make it sparkle. And it's just a matter of adding in that spritz, adding on the glitter after the fact. And remember, you are going to seal the whole thing when it's done, so this won't flake on you. When you're done, sprinkle a little bit for good luck. Mamacita. They're like legit, they're gorgeous. Uh, the gradient ombre effect totally worked. So that spray technique, thousand percent the right way to go. Thank God I had some of it. It's not in the material shop because I didn't plan on using it. Um, any spray that you have will work. This one is a scotch called Scotch Spray Mount, but um, Tacky Spray would work. Mod Podge actually has a spray version of it that would work, or I, I honestly, probably even hairspray would have done the trick. So you just wanna make sure that you do like nice kind of light little flicks of the wrist. That way then when you drop on the glitter, the mixed color glitter, you're getting that nice kind of soft faded out effect. Okay, we did it. I mean, I'm wearing these to Christmas, to Chanukah, to New Year's Eve, to all the things. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe if you liked this video. Give me a comment, let me know your thoughts, click the bell, share it with a friend, post it to your social media. All of those things are such a huge help, you have no idea. Okay, time to frolic around my front yard like a freak.